children and welcome to standard 8 i hope you all are doing good i will be teaching you geography this year so let's begin with our first chapter local time and standard time so children can you see time no so do you think that time exists you would say yes but how do you think know that you will know that by the changing surroundings you can know that because you do your daily chores on a given particular time this way you understand that time really exists children you have already studied about the imaginary lines of the earth in your previous class let us just revise it so that you can understand the present topic properly so what are the imaginary lines they are nothing but the horizontal and vertical lines on our globe the horizontal line is called as the latitude and the vertical line is called as the longitude longitudes are also called as meridians so children in this chapter we will be understanding about the time and date for which we need to know the longitudes so children let's get into the topic there will be some questions based on what you have already learned the first question is why does the duration of day and night keep changing the earth is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees therefore the duration of day and night keeps changing how many longitudes can be drawn on a world map keeping an interval of 1 degree each 360 longitudes can be drawn the apparent movement of the sun from east to west is a result of what the apparent movement of the sun from east to west is a result of rotation what is the direction of the rotation of the earth the direction of the rotation of the earth is from west to east while the earth rotates how many longitudes face the sun daily while the earth rotates 360 longitudes face the sun daily at which longitude does the date change the date changes at 180 degree longitude How was time measured in olden days? The instruments like sand clock, calendars, ghati ka patra, etc. and the natural events like sunrise, noon and sunset were used to measure times in olden days. In present time, what are the instruments used for time measurement? In present times, the instruments like wall clock, calendars, etc. are used for time measurement. So children, what are the simple things that we do the entire day? We get up in the morning, brush our teeth, and have bath then we have breakfast we go to school study we go to play in the evening 
have dinner, brush our teeth and go to sleep. So children, we do similar activities throughout the year considering our daily routine. We need to decide the time for all our activities. In olden days, people used to take the help of various tools to measure time. On the basis of their observation and experience, they decided the day into following parts. Sunrise to sunset is daytime and from sunset to the next sunrise is night time. So children, a whole day that is 24 hours meant the duration from one sunrise to the next. Children, you all know that the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation and we also know that the sun rises towards the east. Thus, the earth rotates from west to east. So, that is the reason we experience sunrise, noon, sunset and midnight. So, when the earth rotates, the longitudes in the western part face the sun. Thus, the longitudes in the east experience darkness. While traveling, we often see trees, buildings and many other things outside. So, we think that all these things are moving in the opposite direction. But in reality, they are stationary. They do not move, but we are traveling forward. So, similarly, because of the rotation of the earth, we feel that the sun is changing its position from east to west daily. Children, there is an activity in your geography textbook where you need to do this activity on a bright sunny day in an open area. So, what you have to do is that you need to search for a pole on the ground. You can even take a stick and place it on the ground firmly and it should stay under the sun for a whole day for this activity. You need to observe the direction in which the shadow of the pole falls at different times of the day. So children, after conducting this activity, you would have observed that the shadows in the early morning and evening were the long longest, while those at noon were the shortest. This happens due to the change in the apparent location of the sun in the sky. The length and the direction of the shadow keeps changing accordingly. This is because a specific part of the earth faces the sun during rotation and then moves forward. We also experience that it's cooler in the morning and evening and warmer in the afternoon. The noon time is the same at any given longitude across the earth that is from the north pole to the south pole. So children the time of a place as decided by the location of the sun in the sky is known as its local time. In the regions lying between the polar circles and the poles, 
the day time could be more than 24 hours depending upon the season. At the poles, the day time and the duration of the day lasts for around 6 months. So children, if the people staying in the poles want to know about the sunrise and sunset, then they will have to consider the date. Here, what happens is that when the sun rises on a specific day, it moves around the horizon. Now, what is horizon? It is a line where the earth and the sky appears to meet. And therefore, there the length of the shadow cannot be used to tell the time. Children, different longitudes have different timings of sunrise, noon and sunset. For example, when it is noon at Mumbai, it wouldn't be the same at Kolkata. Why? Because Kolkata lies to the east of Mumbai. So, it would already be afternoon in Kolkata because Kolkata faces the sun first. That is why children, the local time of a particular place is determined with reference to its afternoon time. This means that the places that lie on the same longitude have the same local time. Therefore, there is no problem when local time is used for a small area. But for people living in a larger area across different longitudes to have to interact with each other. Then using local time would lead to a lot of problems and confusion. For example, if you are travelling from Mumbai to Kolhapur, then we can consider the local time because we are in the same longitude. But if we are travelling from Mumbai to Dubai, which is far away, then we cannot use the local time as there are so many longitudes in between these two places. So children, with this, we stop here for today. In the next video, we will cover the remaining parts of the topic. Before winding up, let's revise of what we have studied today. We learnt that time is determined by the various events happening during the day like sunrise, noon, etc. We also learnt about the longitudes and latitudes. We learnt that local time is determined by the location of the sun in the sky. Okay children, I hope you understood this part. I will see you again with the next part of the topic. Take care.